Paul, today members of the Minnesota House heard a list of grievances against the office building that they call home. It's falling apart, it's not accessible, and it's not safe. But there's one thing lawmakers are not willing to say, just how much they'll spend to fix it. Political reporter Theo Keith is at the Capitol. So Theo, why not? Well, 48 hours before the final vote, we still don't know how much this project is going to cost. At one point, the state put out an estimate that renovating House lawmakers' offices across the street would cost almost as much as it costs to renovate the Capitol itself. But project supporters have since disputed that. In a place known for drama, maybe the most dramatic moment in the 90-year-old state office building's history was a 2016 flood caused by a burst valve. Detractors say the building's issues are much more than maintenance, range from accessibility to porous security. It's a dark cloud hanging over our head all the time. We're just wondering when the next rainstorm is going to occur in that regard. They recalled one time when a staffer needed surgery after an eight-inch shard of wood paneling got stuck in their leg. Someone once fell and broke through a window. Ramps are too steep for people with disabilities. I can say point blank, folks with disabilities are being denied access under its current condition. Democrats who control the House ran a Monday morning hearing as a sort of sales pitch for full renovation, not small fixes. But shiny new offices are politically charged. They're building a new luxury office building for themselves. Almost a decade ago, Republicans blasted the $90 million cost of a new Senate building. This fall, the GOP ran ads that compared a renovated building for the House to the Taj Mahal. It's frustrating that we are now sitting here today and, and we don't know the numbers. We've heard rumored numbers that could be more than the state capitol renovation. Democrats aren't yet saying the price tag. They're leaving that to Wednesday, just before a final vote in the House Rules Committee. I'm happy to comment on Wednesday. I think it's important uh, to put any cost estimate in uh, context of space needs, uh, the uh, requirements of the tenants, the security needs. Last year, House Democrats and Senate Republicans jointly agreed to give the House full power to authorize a project to renovate its own office space. The plan is, if the committee approves on Wednesday, some work will get started next summer once the legislature adjourns. Kelsey, Amy? All right, thanks, Theo. Well, you've 